Hi, it's me again with Corel Golf Tips and Tricks. Somebody contacted me. They draw a lot of circles with smaller, like edge rings or something to do. I don't know what they do with them, but you could, you know, kind of get an idea if you if you did something like this. You would have two circles, and you can do that a couple of different ways if that's if that's what you're doing. But and they're contouring them, and they had a question. So if we take this circle and then control D and make a duplicate, then we make a second circle and we grab this circle and it needs to be a particular size. I don't know what the size is, but if we go to effects and contour, we've got the outside circle. We're going to contour the outside a quarter of an inch. Now, if we take the inside circle and we want to either inside or outside, we're going to go inside a quarter of an inch. And I've got those two rings. The other way to do it that's uh, pretty cool and, and really pretty easy is to take these two circles and either group them or combine them. And if you're going to do this, you might as well combine them. And then if you grab this contour tool, and it doesn't really matter, and just contour it, look what you can do. You can go the inside or you can go the outside with both of them. Now, if you needed to be that quarter of an inch, just type in a quarter of an inch and you have that same quarter of an inch. A little bit more control. What I do like about, I very seldom ever use this contour tool underneath here. If you contour a circle with a docker, which is effects and contour, and you go, I'm going to go a quarter of an inch. Well, you can't, you have to change the number like 0.5 and hit apply. And a lot of times it doesn't work because you're backing up. But this way, you can kind of move your contour and then adjust your contour. Now, this works perfectly fine, but I think in the long run, this would be a lot easier. Now, if he was trying to make this, and I, I should have asked before the video, if he was trying to make this, okay, those are a quarter inch rings. And if that's all you needed, you could definitely just take, take a circle, control D and make a duplicate, bring it in, whatever amount, select them both and make them a quarter of an inch. Now what I, you could do is hit F12 on your keyboard. You've got to have nothing selected. Go to graphic, change this to inches, change your hairline, well, what we can do is just now we're okay. We're just going to say, okay, select these two and change this to a quarter of an inch. Then that's really all you need, but you can, one, you can make it black, but two, I would be safer. Go up to object and convert the outline to an object and you can left click, right click and make it in black, take away the fill, add the fill back. But this way you can kind of see that I did the exact same thing instead of contouring it, I made my circle thickness. Hope that made a little bit of sense. Hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.